Welcome yeah. Eurovision fans across the world. Uh, today yeah. we are kicking off our seasons with the beautiful guys from Slovenia, Joker Out. Hi and welcome. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Ah, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. So good to see you. Uh, how are you? What's you? What are you up to today? Um, we've been running around the whole day. We had some live performances of our uh, uh, Eurovision song in, early in the morning, so we're kind of sleepy, yeah. <laughs> half awake, because it's really early for us, but um, we're doing fine. It's a beautiful day, yeah. sunny. Yeah. And you, Anita, cool. Kokosi. Excellent. I'm good, thank you. We also have the sun. We had snow yesterday, and I was not prepared. I was like, uh, oh. where is my spring, please? <laughs> Thankfully, it's back now. So now we want to talk a little bit about you. Uh, I know that you're quite uh, a new band. You haven't been around for that long. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are? Well, we've actually been together since 2016 as a band. Um, so mm -hmm. we're celebrating our seventh anniversary this year in May. Um, so it's going to be a, a good vibration for the anniversary. Mm -hmm. In Liverpool. Yeah, in Liverpool. Yes. Um, Cool. Well, I guess there's not much, not much to say. I had a band since primary school, and one time I went to a concert uh, where these two guys were playing guitar for another band, and I thought like, wow, they're really good. I would like to have them in my band. So me and my friend Martin called them up and said, hey, do you want to join the band? They were like, yeah, sure. Uh, so that's how that yeah. happened. Uh, later on, Nata joined, and of course, uh, Jure, the drummer, who is now missing because uh, he's working. Okay. So, um, you were selected uh, internally in Slovenia. How was the process? How did you get chosen? Well, we were actually thinking of applying for the national selection, um, but then news came out that there wasn't going to be a national selection and we got called up directly by uh, the national broadcaster rtv if we wanted to go directly and we were quite quite surprised that they wanted wanted us to go but it was of course an offer we couldn't refuse and we were intending to go to eurovision in any way in any case so we were really happy to go we we watched so much harry potter that we manifested being the chosen ones <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome i like that so uh, how is your relationship with eurovision is it a big thing in slovenia yeah i mean yeah it is a big thing everyone watches eurovision mm -hmm. like these mm -hmm. past few years we haven't had that good of results so it's kind of mm -hmm. like people are starting to question a little bit like are should we even participate is it even worth is it, it worth yeah. it um but of course we are huge fans of eurovisions and of eurovision and we've been since our childhoods so uh, we absolutely feel like it's a must for every single year so um like yeah apart from the fact that we're going to compete for to get the best result possible we are we're also kind of on a mission to make slovenians believe and feel kind of the passion for eurovision again make eurovision great again. yes yeah. <laughs> absolutely i support that and for every uh, people that doubt out there i i always say look to portugal uh who entered so many 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 times before they before they won so there's always hope of course you gotta hang in there <laughs> <laughs> we are <laughs> Cool. What is your um, musical inspiration? Do you have any artists or idols that you uh, gather inspiration from to make your music? Well, a lot of people since our song has come out for Eurovision have been calling us indie and Brit rock, and they they hit it right in right in the uh, head. right in the head with that one. <laughs> um, so um, our inspirations are mainly from. From the, like um, Beatles, Arctic yeah, Monkeys, yeah, stuff like that, and also mm. some Slovenian bands which you, you probably wouldn't know. ABBA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, of course, ABBA those are new also. to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I read somewhere that uh, your musical is called Shagadelic Rock and Roll. That was a yes. cool thing. Yeah, well, thank you. Have you watched Austin Powers? <laughs> yes. Yes, well, well we so that's the vibe. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say that it's really funny how this shagadelic rock and roll thing became a thing because it was literally just made up on the spot when we had an interview in 2017 when we won a band competition and they asked us what oh. our genre was and we just said shagadelic rock and roll and since then it's like everyone's been using it and it became a thing so mm. that's I think it's fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> it's something else. It's something you don't hear too often. So that's a good thing to just stand out from the crowd. Thanks. So Glad when you write your music, do you write everything yourself? I mean, lyrics are usually done by me, but um, we make the songs together in this rehearsal space here. Um, so at the end, it's just us and 10 to 20 ghostwriters. <laughs> <laughs> so I also read that uh, you are uh, the first young band to gain nationwide uh, attention in Slovenia. So I'm thinking, Slovenians, do they only listen to old people? Old uh, music? <laughs> no, I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say we only listen to old people, but there hasn't been a young band in the, like, in the 2000s and the, tw the beginning of the 2010s, there wasn't any new band which kind of would drive the masses into like concerts. And the live scene was really um, overshadowed by clubs and like more electronic music. And that's why mm -hmm. only like the huge bands which were established in the late 90s are still were still the most prevalent mm -hmm. ones in Slovenia. And that has really changed ever since we've started. Um, we started to put out music, not solely because of us, of course not. There's just this new whole generation of new wave music, which is coming out. And it's really great for Slovenia. Yeah. That's nice. What are your plans uh, up front before your vision? Are you attending any pre-parties or something like that? Promotional All things? Of <laughs> All of them. Yeah, nice. That sounds nice. There is nothing. So I think uh, when I spoke to some artists last year, they said, there was nothing so great to be a part of Eurovision because that is the best thing of love, musically wise, because the, the fans are so uh, uh, addicted to Eurovision. They're so present. So they really embrace every artist. So I think that will be a great experience for you. Um, will you perform your song in Slovenian, in Eurovision? Yes. Yes. The song will be performed in Slovenian, although we will make. Uh, a few other versions of the song. Uh, probably the official version is going to be an English one, uh, maybe Serbian or Spanish or something like that. But we are now on a quest Ooh. to sing the chorus of the song in all the languages of Eurovision. So yeah, yeah. we even have a we we put out a, like kind of an, an no, announcement yeah. uh, to for everybody who wants to, they can translate our uh, lyrics. We, we put out the like a direct translation into English and everybody who wants to translate it into their own language is welcome to send us uh, on the mail which we created. And we all already have one or two Norwegian ones, right? Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I will definitely cool. send mine. Yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> if you will send it or anyone else watching this, can you please try to write it so it's possible to sing it? Because a lot of people send us version of direct translation, which is impossible to sing rhythm it doesn't fit the, the melody and the vowels mm. i will try to match it nice i will try do my Thanks. best what are your plans after your vision do you have any um aspirations for global rain <laughs> yes, are you dominate. taking over the world dominate. yes <laughs> dominating the world <laughs> uh, well, the only real plans we have uh, right now is we're going to release an English album after sometime after the Eurovision. Um, and mm. even before Eurovision, our first English single will be released, which will feature also a very established English artist. Um, so that's something to uh, look out for. And, and just like nice. have as many gigs as possible um, for outside of Slovenia. So if any Norwegians want to book us, here we are. Yeah. Cool. So uh, your song, uh, I really like it, by the way. It's a good thank, vibe. Thank it's a great. It's catchy. It's very good. Um, what's the message of the song? What's the, what do you want to say with it? 
Well, we want to say that I'm, I mean, Carpe Diem, huh? That's that's the, mm. the title of the song, and the yeah. main message is to live your life to the fullest um, and to enjoy every day as if tomorrow tomorrow never comes. Seize the day. Seize yeah. the day. <laughs> Seize the day. It's really, yes. it's really just a, a synopsis of what we were doing in Hamburg where we recorded the, the song. Oh. Uh, so we, had, we were dancing, partying, and playing, playing loving pinball. each other. Platonically loving each other. And we were just <laughs> away from home and away from all the like social media and things that bother your mind in everyday life. So we mm. we really we really saw that in those ten days we were completely different persons. We were free, we were experimental and it was really nice. Sounds great. I can't wait to see you on stage. Uh it'll be such an experience, I know. Any fun facts about you that you want to share with us? Fun facts. You should know the fun facts. Uh, Natsa, you, Natsa played in a band that played on Chris's high school graduation party. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> and also, what, what may be more relevant for them is you played on a cruise ship which went around the Baltic Sea. Yeah. So, um, I, okay, I guess Norway's not on no, the Baltic, Baltic sea, sea, but still near Scandinavia. Yeah. <laughs> cool. As as yeah. So, you're, so you're all experienced musicians. Yeah, it seems yeah. like only he is, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all, all are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Experienced and uneducated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, I was going to ask are you educated or just self taught? Mainly self taught. Ma 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 I'm, I'm self taught. No, none of us. Yeah. Uh, I mean, self taught. Uh, me and Jan actually met uh, at our private guitar instructor, but that's not like formal oh. education. That's just like once no. a week. Um, and learn stuff you want to you want to learn mainly rock songs none of that class no, none of those classic songs or jazz songs so yeah if That's you have nice. any notes for us to read we can't yeah. <laughs> actually, not I, can, actually not yeah. Yeah. I can also read notes yeah. if i really try yeah uh, suddenly now <laughs> everyone can except for me <laughs> <laughs> i'll teach you no problem. Yeah. <laughs> this is so great so, um, of course, we assume that you get to the final uh, in Eurovision in May. And if you win, what do you do? Oh, we will do really, really, really stupid things. Yeah. Get an awful <laughs> tattoo. Yeah. We will yeah. all get tattoos that are yeah. terrible. Uh, really terrible. <laughs> No public swimming pool for us. After Eurovision tattoo. <laughs> After Eurovision. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, that's great. Gonna, if we win, we're probably going to party so hard we might get dis disqualified by the Eurovision. <laughs> <laughs> Retroactively. <laughs> and world done. That sounds world. like a plan. <laughs> Count me in. <laughs> no, you are counted in. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thank you so much, guys, for being here today. And uh, we wish you the best of luck in Eurovision. Rock and roll. Thank, thank you so you. much. You. Sorry, how do you say in Norwegian, we love you and vote for us? Vi elsker dere, stem på oss. What? Uh, <laughs> vi elsker dere, stem på oss. Yeah. Stem på oss. Stem på oss. Vi elsker dere. Ja, vi elsker dere. Stem på oss. Slovenia! Yeah.